Hi, this is Mello and this is a short guide on some of LVUI's basic features. So when you have LVUI installed, the settings for your user interface will be in the escape menu. Well, inside the settings, you have a lot of categories to choose from on the left side. However, the first thing I want to show you is the toggle anchor button. Pressing this will unlock every item of the UI and letting you move absolutely everything. As you can see, there is a grid that lets you line up everything. So for example, if I want to move our player frame up a bit, so it's closer to our character, you just drag it up. As you can see, when I move my player frame, the X and the Y value changes. The center on the X axis is zero. So this makes X value a negative on the left side. Let's just type minus 220 here and 400 on the Y value. And then on the target frame, you'll type the exact same number. So 220 on X and 400 on Y. And then your health bars is symmetrical. All right, we'll be moving around some of the items here a lot. So we'll get everything to our liking. So let's just move on by clicking lock here. Back in general settings, you'll notice that when I hover over an option, you get an explanation of what ticking the box will do. Some are self-explanatory, like for example auto repair, which automatically repairs your gear when interacting with a repair NPC. In the drop down menu, you'll just choose what you want as default for paying for repairs. Here I choose guild. Also, when interacting with a NPC vendor, I'd like to automatically sell all of my grey items, so I'll just click there. I also want to change the size of the talking head item in my UI while we're here. Alright, moving on to media. Here is where you'll change most of the appearance of your user interface. So for example, if I want another font, I'll change that here. I like my fonts with a bit more rounded corners, so I'm choosing Expressway here. You can also change comeback text fonts and so forth, but we'll get into that in a later video. Alright, the colors of LVI can sometimes be a bit dark, so here's where you can change that. If you press backdrop faded color, in the circle you can change the color you want. And then you can adjust the light. And then pressing alpha will apply the color. Let's get it a bit darker and so. Okay. Class totems is when you have a certain ability you want to keep track on if it's up. Like for example the paladin's consecration. Activating that and then adjusting button size, you'll see where that is located. Cooldown text is countdown numbers on your action bar. So activating my eye of tear here, for example, you'll see it start counting down. And here you can change the colors and so forth of that number. Moving on to chat bubbles. These are the frames above, for example, NPCs when they talk. So here you can change some of the features for that. And objective frame is the list of quests on my right, where you can adjust the length and so forth. And finally, we have threat. And this is one of the features enabled by LVI since I chose tank as my layout in the installation. This is just to see the threat level of my current target. And you can, for example, choose if you want to be on the left or right chat. And then when you're in combat, it will replace the data text here with a threat bar instead. All right, moving on to action bars. First thing I want to show is the key binding feature. By pressing key binding mode, you can very easily set up key binds for your account or by ticking the box here, you'll make it character specific. So just as, a, as an example, I want to key bind my Ashari salad down here. I can just hover over it and press control and F8 or whatever you'd like and it will keybind it to that. All right, let's just discard that and go back into LVI settings and action bars. The rest of the settings here is pretty self-explanatory. You can adjust button size and so forth. Uh, however, visibility state is one of the cool features. For example, if I want to have my action bar hidden and only shown when in combat, I can type combat within brackets And then show semicolon hide like so. And then the action ball will disappear. If I add mod colon shift 
within brackets. And then add exactly the same as before. So show semicolon hide. This will make my action bar visible when I press shift. Alright, this has been some of LVI's basic features. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful and if you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe. Bye.